didn't just walk away. Why do things in this house always disappear? Scissors, your father's umbrella, Peter's toy sailboat, Pamela's jacket. Mom, Patsy fell in the river again. Oh, no, not again. I was just trying to get my snake a drink of water. Penny, you're the oldest. I expect you to keep an eye on your sisters and brothers. I can't stop her from falling in the river. She falls in three times a day. I do not. I only fall in twice a day. Patsy, go in and dry off. And tell Peter and Pamela to hurry. We've got a playhouse to paint. You ought to spend less time reading those Lucy Lawless books and start helping me around here with your brothers and sisters. But they never listen to me. <laughs> Mercy, Colonel Evil? Well, I am no ordinary person. I am Princess Power, Defender of the Galaxy. to the water. Well, you've had enough practice. Where is everybody? We need every hand we can get. Peter's playing with his boats and trucks down by the stream. And Pamela's probably in a room daydreaming as usual. Here I am. Hey, who's minding the polywog today? He's where he usually is. In jail again? Uh-huh. how they are at that age. But we finally found a playpen he can't get out of. And the girls are fine, too. Uh-huh. And Peter. Peter should have to help paint. This is his playhouse, too. How much poster paint is left? We've got plenty. Can I take this tube to paint Snavely with? See how faded he's getting? He used to be nice and green. Patsy, look what you've done. You've painted over the window, and it's our only window. Well, you said paint everything. I meant everything except the window. Well, you didn't say everything except the window. You said everything. Everybody knows that the word everything doesn't include windows. Pamela, come help me with this. You're just picking on me because you're the oldest. It's not fair. I should get to be the oldest someday. You better not open Peter's trunk. He'll get real mad. He doesn't want anyone touching his trucks and boats. Want a comic book? Oh, uh, I don't know. Penny, what are you reading? Lucy Lawless, Girl Pirate. I thought you read that last week. No, that was Lucy Lawless joins the Foreign Legion, number 38 in the series. I thought number 38 was Lucy Lawless Goes West. No, you're thinking about Lucy Lawless and the Secret River. How can you keep all those books straight? I know them all. Lucy and I have a lot in common. We both have to handle big problems all the time. Penny? Yes? What is it, Pamela? Never mind. Anyway, I've got all 48 Lucy Lawless books. Next one I'm going to read is Lucy Lawless Goes to Greenland, and then maybe Lucy Lawless Construction Works, and then Lucy Lawless... We'll return after these messages. Supergirl has the ability to save millions upon millions of lives with her great superpowers. Americans have the ability to save thousands of lives, one at a time. 16,000 people die each year in car crashes that don't have to. 
Safety belts could save their lives. Safety belts could also prevent thousands from being horribly disfigured or crippled for life. So buckle up. Your life is in your hands. for the polywalk speeding. Oh, not again! Polywalk! Polywalk! This is the Robert E. Lee! The biggest ship on the whole river! watching you and still get anything done? A penny! Pamela! Patsy! Mother wants us. Come on! Every time I turn around, Pollywog's making a break for it. Poor little Polly. He just hates being cooped up. I want you to all look after him for the rest of the afternoon. You too, Peter. Oh, can't I play with my trucks and boats? No, you can't. You've got to help us watch the Pollywog. And Patsy, you stay away from the river. Lucy Lawless doesn't have any little brothers to look after. I don't want to play cowboy. Well, that's too bad, Patsy, because that's what we're playing. We'll do it just like in the Wild West comics. The Pollywog will be the horse thief, and Earless Ostic here will be the horsey stole. <coughs> Yukon King will be my trusty steed. <coughs> Let's go outside and surround the horse thief's hide just like in the comic book. Okay, now, since I'm sheriff, who made you sheriff? I have a badge. I mean, I used to have a badge, but you lost it. Yeah, but I had one at least. We won't have a sheriff. We'll all be the posse.
What a neat place. We'll have to explore a way along the riverbank, I guess. These pipes are like the ones in our house. Remember what Father said? We get our water from an underground stream. Well, this must be the stream. And these pipes must lead up to our house. So we're right under our well. And look at this. I found my little sailboat. The one I lost last month. Hey, someone's been playing with my sailboat. They broke the mast. <laughs> Peter, are you scared? Are you? Uh, not really. Come on, let's follow the river. Hello, this is Universal City Studios, where we're filming Dragnet. I'd like to take just a minute to talk to those of you who will soon be 65 about signing up for your Medicare benefits under Social Security. Now, it's very important that you go into your Social Security office two or three months before your 65th birthday, regardless of whether you plan to retire or whether you want to continue working for a while. If you wait until you're already 65 to apply for Medicare, you will have lost some of the protection provided by this health insurance. The time to sign up is before you're 65, not after. 
Now, if you have a question about Medicare or about any of the other Social Security benefits, write, phone, or visit the Social Security office in your community. The people there will be glad to help you. Look what I found over there. Old comic books. There are even copies of Captain Greyheart comics. Hey, I lost all my Captain Greyheart comics last year. I'm worried. Pity's been gone an awful long time. Maybe we should send Yukon King after her. I'm worried too. How about you, Peter? Nah, I mean, I'm worried about Penny. But this place doesn't scare me. Let's take a vote. All in favor of sending Yukon King, say aye. 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 And be careful. Yeah, Yuki, be careful. Watch yourself.
what I lost last Christmas. And that looks just like the airplane Billy Johnson lost. Everything in these stores looks like used toys and old clothes. Is this your butcher shop? <gasps> Earless! Oh, that's our cat! That's Earless! You can't sell him like a leg of lamb. Oh, 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 oh. He's not a steak, he's our cat! What do we do now, Pamela? You're in charge. I'm open to suggestions. This looks like the jail. Oh. Oh! Holly! Oh, are you all right? Thank goodness I found you. What do you want with us? What are you going to do with us? Are we going to be sold? Or eaten? Oh! Help! Anyone, please! And now, this message. Hi, I'm Mike Wallace, with a sensational shortening discovery for better baking and frying. It's Procter & Gamble's Golden Fluffo. Let's hear what Mrs. Thelma Styra, Indiana State Fair baking champion, had to say about Fluffo. I love Fluffo. It makes such a golden brown pie. Oh, man, that's some apple pie. Get Golden Fluffo. Partner. You can say that again. Uh, you talked! And you didn't say og! You can talk English? Sure I can. Don't usually, though. Talking in ogs is a whole lot easier. Sheriff, what are you gonna do with us? Don't really know. String you up, most likely. String us up? Why? This is right here. Sheriff, we gotta string up them varmints you got in the Who's Gal. <sighs> but that's a comic book. Just because something's in a comic book doesn't mean that you... It looks like we're really stuck now. Took her somewhere in that city, but I don't know where. <laughs> We've got to think of something. What are we going to do now? I know. Remember that comic book where Captain Greatheart disguised himself? Yeah. He made himself look like a Martian so he could sneak into the Martian village. No, it would never work. They're all green and we're not green. It spot us for sure. We could be green. How? I've still got the tuba poster paint from when we were painting the playhouse. Well, Patsy, that's terrific! I was going to use it to touch up the color of my snake, but it's okay. He's green enough, I guess. Let's find something we can use as a brush. This is neat! I always wanted to be green! You're all done, Pamela, but there's none left to paint me. You and Yukon King will have to wait here. We'll go look for Penny. And Polly Wong fearless. It's not fair. It was my paint. How come they get to be green and I don't? Sorry, Snavely. I had to paint my brother and sister instead of you. Captain Greatheart just walked around town like any other Martian until he found the princess. Pamela, you hear someone coming? Shh. Let's get away from here. Hey! It's him again, but we left him tied up. Oh. How did he get loose? Remember, you're supposed to be 
one of his people. Try talking to him. I can't talk to him. He talks off. Give it a try. They only have one word. You know the whole language. Ugg. 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 Ugg, ugg. Ugg, ugg, ugg. Ugg, 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 I think I just told a joke. Ugg, ugg. I think you just said a naughty thing in Og. I don't even know what I'm saying. Og, Og, Og? Og, 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 I think I just learned a new language. Come on, we've got to find Kenny. like my dump truck, the one I lost out in the woods. And that looks like Jimmy O'Donnell's train set. Peter, look over here. Earless, this is a butcher shop. Don't worry, Earless, we'll get you out of here. They're going to sell them like meat. Let's buy them before someone else does. We don't have any money. No, but we can get some. I'll just try to sell this. I guess that's what they use for cash here. Come on, let's buy earless before someone else does. It's working. He thinks we're just ordinary customers. time to unwind. At first they're kind of shell-shocked, then they realize they're heading home. They turn back into a father or a mother or a little league coach. Stick it! Stick it, please! By the time they get home, they're a regular person. At least until they get to work the next morning. Metro North and the Long Island Railroad, going your way. into Long John Silver, you bilge rat! You talk! Aye, pirate talk. I be Long John Silver, the scurviest scurve in all the seven seas. The vast and belay, you swabs! The crocodile! Keep that animal away from the likes of me, or he'll taste me sharp sword. That's not a sword, that's a banana! I know. Boy, do I wish I could find me sword. Now let's see, what comes next? Treasure Island, this is my library book, the one I lost. See, my name's in it. Unhand that book or you'll walk the plank. I've got to get it back to the library. I already owe a dollar eighty-five plus five cents a day for the rest of my life. 
All right, you scurvy bloke. You got Long John Silver mad now. Bill Bones, John Flint, everyone. Now you're in for it. Here we be, Long John. Why is he wearing a spaceman costume? Oh, him. You know how hard it is to find pirate costumes these days? All right, me buckos, take this bloke to our ship. Put me down! Oh, Pollywog, this isn't like in the Lucy Lawless books. She never gets locked up like this. Well, not for long, anyway. If only, uh... Polly? I'm Polly! Polly, you got out! How did you... Oh, never mind how you did it. You can escape from anything. Oh, that's it. Get the key. Get the key and open the cell. That's it, Polly. Get the key. Bring it here. Bring it here. I'm ironing out. Good going, Polly Wog. Now, I've got to get the sheriff's gun. That's it. This is a water pistol. These people are just like children. Huh? What's going on here? Okay, you lily-livered varmint, reach for the sky. No, don't shoot. I... Hey, that line ain't out of Wild West comics. It's out of Lucy Lawless and the Cattle Rustlers. Now get in that there cell, you polecat. Boy, that's realistic sounding Western talk. I learned all my sheriffing out of Wild West comics. I'll have to find me one of them Lucy Lawless books. Come on, Polly. Let's get out of here. Yep, sure was realistic western talk, all right. I think we go this way. Oh, no! There's another one! Oh, I'm gonna try something that Lucy Lawless does all the time. Don't make a sound. up them upstairs folks. Uh, uh, thanks, sir. Oh, one more thing. I hear that one of them upstairs people is here in town, painted green. Keep on the lookout for him. I will, Mr. Mayor, sir. When we catch that no good sidewinder spot, we'll string him up. Come on, we've got to find Pamela and Earless. And where are Patsy and Yukon King? We left them outside of town. At least they're safe. You know the trouble with being the younger sister, Yuki? You always get left behind. But I don't care. I've got you, and I've got Snavely. He's the best snake in the whole world. Roar, roar. You hear something, Yuki? Snavely, back in my pocket. 
the green paint washed off it, Captain. One side. Make way for the sheriff. Make way. <gasps> Pamela! Your spy and spies always know where treasures be. Shiver me timbers and other pirate expressions. Ahoy, Long John Silver. Turn the prisoner over to the sheriff here. Let the law take over. This be my adventure and my prisoner. Let the sheriff find his own prisoner. Sheriff, it, it looks like it's up to you. Peter, you've got to save Pamela. Right. We'll string her up from the yard arm. You're right, Captain. What's a yard arm? I don't know. But as soon as I figure it out, she's in a lot of trouble. Look, Captain. Blimey, we've been boarded. Peter! It's about time you rescued me. On guard! To say in all that doodling talk. We're not doing. You don't have a sword! This isn't any fun if you're good at nitpick. Captain White, I found the swords. They were under some cases. Aha! Oh, this would be so much better. My duels were getting so boring without swords. These are the rubber swords that the twins next door lost. Touche! <laughs> Try for with me, will ya? <laughs> Look, you have to try harder. Take that, and that, and that, and a couple of these. Get him, Peter! Ha-ha! <laughs> You're unarmed! Long John Silver moves in for the final touch. Bravo! <laughs> Vaughn, oh, what a good adventure! Oh, Pamela! Oh, Penny! I, I was, was so worried, worried about you! <laughs> <laughs> well, Sheriff, what do you reckon we ought to do with these here spying upstairs folk? Well, uh, let them go? <laughs> you always did have a sense of humor, Sheriff. Hey, he still has a gun on it! It doesn't work. I was never able to figure out how to make it squirt anyway. It's not a squirt pistol. It doesn't do anything. You just point it and go bang, bang. 
If you want to have fun, you can sit in a seat like this at the ballpark and watch the Dodgers in action. You'll be entertained. Here's another kind of a seat from a wide-bodied Continental Airlines DC-10. When you sit in it, you'll be entertained too. With exclusive, specially condensed double feature films, plus short subjects and stereo, all at no extra cost. Of course, on Continental, you don't have to stay in your seat all the time to have a good time. You can get up and go into the only coach pub in the sky. In the pub, you can relax with friends, enjoy free popcorn, or play exciting electronic pub pong games. So whichever seat you choose, at the ballpark or on a Continental wide-body DC-10 to Chicago, Denver, or Houston, you'll have a good time. Either way, you've got a ringside seat for lots of fun and games. On Himself green and he and his gang took my sheriff clothes. He'll have to answer for shooting Long John Silver. It's only a toy gun. This is like a scene in a Wyatt Earp comic book. So what do we do? Do whatever Wyatt Earp would do. All right, reach for the skies, you shine wine and pull cats, or I'll fill you full of lead. Do what he says, folks. That man is a killer. It works. Peter, I Bang, bang! Bang, bang, bang! Oh, you got me! <laughs> bang, bang! He got me! He got me, too! That's his last shot! He's all out of bullets! Let's get him! Are they really hurt or what? And where's the polywog? He's done it again! Another great escape. Where is he? There, on the boat. How did he get out there? How does he get anywhere? But he's got a good idea. Come on. After them. Don't let the killer get away. Get them, farmer. It's only a foot deep. Someone. Uh, posse? Yeah, posse. Let's organize one of them and hit them varmints off the pass. Yahoo! Yeah. Where are we going? Wherever this river takes us, I guess. What I want to know is where is Patsy and Yukon King? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's no 
use you, Con King. We'll never find Penny and Pamela and Peter. Just because I'm younger than they are, they always leave me behind. No sign of them. I think we lost them. No, we didn't. There they are, chasing us on horseback. Horseback? I didn't uh, see any horses in the village. Well, they're not exactly on horses. I'll fire a couple of warning shots to scare those outlaws. Bang, bang, bang! Click, click. My gun's jammed. We hit some rapids. Turn after these messages. Hello? It's good to hear your voice, Supergirl. Who is this? You may have just heard about my escape on the radio a few minutes ago. Besides, you were the one that put me away six months ago and you still don't recognize my voice? I feel really offended. Yes, I know who you are. And I'm not Supergirl. Don't play coy with me. You and I both know the secret to your true identity. Besides, I have something that belongs to you. I believe it's called the Omega Hadronis. Now that I have your attention, I have a proposition for you. If you accept it, you'll not only give back the stolen money and your Omega Hadronis, but I'll give myself up to the authorities. But if you do not accept my proposition, you will not get the stolen money back or your Omega Hadronis either. And also, I'll make sure I reveal your true identity to the entire world. to CBS Storybrain. Pamela, grab Earless and I'll get the poly one. But shouldn't we go ahead and string them up? Right you are, Sheriff. Oh, and add boat stealing to their list of offenses. Will somebody please explain to us what this is all about? Why do I feel like I'm in an issue of Wild West Comics? That's my favorite. Cause this is Cowboy Week. Next week, we're all gonna be superheroes. I get to be Captain Greatheart. All these comic books you read. You find them up in our world when we lose them, right? Uh-huh. And all the toys down here, and all the costumes, they're things we lost and you found. Right you are. You're all acting out comic book stories, but why? Why? Because life down here in Og was about as exciting as watching paint dry. Everything was so gosh darn dull. Take our menus, for instance. Only thing that grows down here to eat is mushrooms. Mushroom porridge, mushroom stew, mushroom cake, mushroom pot pie, mushroom fondue, mushroom mushrooms. I get the idea. And school only lasts ten minutes a day. Only got one word to learn. So we all started visiting your world and kind of borrowing things. Mayor, could we get on with it? Pronto, Sheriff. Now, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. 
You can't do this! This isn't a comic book! This is... Mr. Bear! Mr. Bear, sir! The snake people are attacking! The snake people? Oh, my oh, God! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, are you sure, ma'am? The snake people? I've seen one of them with my own eyes! Snake people? They live up in the Og Mountains! Ain't none of us safe! They'll invade our town! And destroy everything and everyone! We need volunteers to go out there and get rid of the snake people! Do I see a volunteer? Hmm. Seems we got us a volunteer shortage. How about you, Sheriff? How about them? Us? Fight the snake people? Hey, I like that idea. You folks go and get rid of the snake people, and Flugier will guide you. Me? Go back there? No chance! <laughs> well, we'll get you another guide. When you come back, we'll help you get home safe and sound. If you don't get rid of them, then we go ahead and string you up. That sounds fair. It's not fair. But it may be our only chance to get out of here. Plus, we still have to find Patsy and Yuki. Don't you think this sounds a little dangerous? We have no choice. She's right, Peter. It's the only way we'll get back home. Mayor, you've got yourself some volunteers. Great! Let's go see the Elder Og. He can show you where the snake people live. He's the oldest one in the village. Years ago, he actually saw the snake people. Yes, that is true. The children, they all come to hear me tell of the horrible encounter. You saw them years ago, and no one has seen them since? Not until the day when Flug and his pals got attacked by one. Oh, great Elder Og, will you guide these uh, volunteers to where them snake people live? I shall guide them to the outskirts of the area, but from there on, they'll be on their own. Uh, we have not much further to go. Penny, I'm really getting worried about Patsy, and Yuki, too. Maybe the snake people got them. Hmm, do you wish to give up? We can't. If we give up, we'll never get home. We're almost to where they live. Oh, boy. Somewhere beyond here is where I saw them, in a cave. I go no further. Well, I guess we don't have any choice. Come on! Farewell and good luck! I know you'll do it. I know you'll get rid of the snake people. <laughs> they haven't a chance. I just know the snake people got Patsy and Yuki. Look! That must be a snake people. Uh, person. Let's sneak up and grab him. Don't make any noise. Ah! Peter! More of them! Come on, run, Pamela! They're after us! Up this mountain, quick! Oh, I can't hold on! Oh, look out! Penny, watch it! Uh, 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 uh. Again, when did he learn English? 
I'll admit you had me fooled at first, Snake People. But then I saw the proof of what you really were. You see, Og convinced us we had to capture the Snake People before they destroyed us. So, we came here to where the Elder Og told us he'd seen the Snake People. And here you are, Snake People. That's not proof we're Snake People. I'll show you proof. Come on. Well, come on. You're my prisoners now, and prisoners have to do as they're told. Listen, Mr. Um, uh, Mr. Og. The name's Og. Somehow I knew it was. We're wasting time. The real snake people are probably right around here. Nice try, snake person, but it won't work. I know you're all snake people because... <gasps> There! There's another snake person! Now try to deny that you are what you are! Hey, where have y'all been? That's our sister! That's right! And since she's a snake person, you must all be snake persons! We all saw her produce a serpent out of thin air! Yes, we did! We all saw it! A serpent? My snake, Snavely! They were chasing me through the mushroom field, and when they saw Snavely, they all ran away. Whoa! She did it again! Help! 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 I'm a prisoner of the snake people! Oh! <laughs> Please don't hurt me, snake people! The Elder Hawk told us that you could turn us all into lizards! I don't want to be a lizard! Ugh! Get up! I decided to check on them. They aren't snake people. They aren't? No. Snake people have long, pointy fangs. This one has pointy fangs? And this is a dog. Oh. <laughs> Look, the real snake people are around here, right? Elderog, you'll have to show us that cave with the fangs where they live. Yeah, I was afraid of that. All right, all of you, follow me. There it is. Thirty years ago, when I was but a tiny odd, I ventured into that cavern of the fangs. And that's where I saw them. The evil, horrible, repulsive snake people. Oh, Og has lived in fear of them ever since. Has anyone else ever seen a snake person? Well, I saw her. I'm not a snake person. Well, here we go. Do you think there really are snake people in here? He says he saw them. If the snake people! I found them! Here they are! Even more awful looking than I remember them. This is a comic book. A real old one, too. Look, it's a dime for 64 pages. I don't get it. Where are the snake people? Right there, in that comic book. It's the one I found here 30 years ago. There aren't any snake people. There never were any snake people. What does it mean? It means they're just believing comic books again. Come on, let's go back to the village. And I can now say truthfully that there are no snake people living in your land. Hooray! I am so grateful. I don't even mind that you wrecked my boat. Peter, the man you shot is alive. I figured, when did he stop playing dead? Oh, that game was over hours ago. I've given up pirating. I've been playing Robin Hood. Robin from the poor, given to the rich. That's Rob from the rich and give to the poor. Oh! No wonder I wasn't getting any money. Hey, I can be the Sheriff of Nottingham. That's a fascinating book. It is fascinating, and so is playing pretend. But you know what else is fascinating, too? Reality. Reality? Who published that comic? What's she talking about? <laughs> That's right. You know you can pretend all you want. But you have to stop sometimes and live in the real world. 
That's interesting. We'll have to try it. Actually do things. Yeah. 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 Let's do it. Don't just pretend. Go out and explore the other end of that river. See what your world is really like. Yeah. 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 Hey, Mayor, what do you say we let Og here guide him back to the upstairs world? A right fine idea, Sheriff. But they gotta promise not to tell no upstairs folks about us. We don't want no spies intruding. We'll promise if you'll promise not to take any more of our toys and things. Agreed. Agreed. Oh, Og. Yes? No, no, just that one named Og. We just gotta get some different names around here. <laughs> yourself so filthy in one afternoon. Pamela, you and Peter have green paint all over your clothes from painting the playhouse. Now go wash up, all of you. Oh, one more thing. You know that old hat I wear for gardening? The one with the yellow feathers? Have any of you seen it? No, we haven't. No, Mom. Well, if you see it, let me know. I can't find it anywhere. Now off to wash. Everybody quick, come look. And now this message. Supergirl has the ability to save millions upon millions of lives with her great superpowers. Americans have the ability to save thousands of lives, one at a time. 16,000 people die each year in car crashes that don't have to. Safety belts could save their lives. Safety belts could also prevent thousands from being horribly disfigured or crippled for life. So buckle up. Your life is in your hands. And now, this message. WON YouTube Networks is now on Facebook. Check it out.